Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us on this Finally Friday for North Dakota Today. I'm so excited. I too. Big weekend, holiday weekend. We talked about this a bit. It is a big weekend. Unfortunately, that we're going to might see some white stuff. But other than that, you know what? It's going to be a big, beautiful weekend to celebrate moms. I'm so excited for Mother's Day. It's just kind of a, a day where I get pampered by my kids. Nice. And I wake up and drink mimosas at home and eat bagels. So... I'm, I'm very excited for that. I don't even have to go out. I just need to not make anyone else breakfast. I'm going to get my breakfast on Saturday so that Sunday morning I just... You just chill out. I just chill out and eat what is there. Are they, they can eat with in me. mimosas like they we saw can... yesterday in that package? They're going to order them for you? Mm, that would be nice, right? <laughs> I'll pick up my uh, champagne uh, today. So nice. I love it. I'm very excited just for a quiet weekend. But uh, also, uh, Minnesota Fishing Opener. And a lot of moms fish, so, you know, that's maybe... just not run through the pampering thing. Like, could we get a close-up on Boudot? Boudot did her, got her hair did today. I, no, she I said, I know, it seems, it seems like, I, like I went to the you. salon before I came yeah. to work. No, that's not true. I, I said I actually couldn't sleep, and I got up at 2.30 <laughs> instead of 3. And oh. so I came to work, beat everybody, and I was, like, very curly. And at lots of... Ma that's what happens when you have too much time on you your gotta, hands. you got to do the whole, like, throw. <laughs> everybody was like, who are you, and why are you here so early? I know, it's it's... <laughs> It's Friday, and I'm excited, and uh, yeah, it's a weekend uh, to celebrate mom, celebrate my mom, um, my grandma. Are you going to send her mimosas? You know, she she decided to go to the cabin for the weekend, so, oh. you know, usually we do spend it together, but Good her birthday's her, coming though. up next week, so we'll still celebrate together. Are you going to spend it together, or like just way from a distance, or? My mom? Yeah. Oh, her birthday? I think I will. We're starting to be safe, you know, but still... Um, see each other. I know Good. for a long time we didn't, and I didn't let my, you know, girls go over yeah. to grab, but it was, it's hard. So now we're, uh, you know, starting to see people, but trying to be very careful and not, t you know, and we all have masks, you nice. know, and there's hand sanitizer when you walk into grandma and grandpa's. So, uh, <laughs> you know, take care of things. How about you? Do you have big plans to I'm not really sure yet. I mean, I'm kind of going to wait and see how this weather plays out. But other than that, you know, might head down to Wapaton and see Graham as well and try to do more family stuff. But it's the same thing. You know, I talked to Graham and it's like, should I come down? Should I not? Because with all everything going on, you just don't know. But right. I would like to. Um, and let's talk about fishing opener. The bad weather, I think, is good. Right? It seems like if it's sunny and 80, I don't think the fish bite. So, uh, yeah, a little bit of snow and it's cold. Uh, usually it's kind of rainy. I didn't realize icky. you were such an angler. <laughs> I do not. Do you know put anything. your own worms on? I do not. Know. I can touch. I'll touch worms, but I, I okay. don't. Yeah, I don't fish really <laughs> for the most part. I'd rather uh, swim than than sit there and and fish. But, but it's I think a big you are right. Yeah, I think if it's cold, maybe they'll be hungry, and and we'll see. So. Well, it's Friday. Like we said, it's been a long week for a lot of people. We're going to do something different here today. Uh, if you're feeling a little down because of everything that's going on, you're not alone. A global pandemic, of course, can make all news seem like it's bad news, but it's not. The situation has actually made many people and even animals uh, a little more innovative as they adapt to the changing world. Laura Podesta this morning has highlights of some of the most uplifting and inspiring stories that you might have missed this week. Let's take a quick tour. Unable to swim in his normal gym, this teen athlete built a pool in his garage. He says he bought most of the parts on Amazon and filled it with 2,700 gallons of water. The high school junior from Ohio ties a brace to himself to add resistance. It doesn't matter if I'm going anywhere or not, I'm still swimming. And that's the, I'm just trying to keep the, the body moving throughout this whole time. This bride walked down a very different kind of aisle to marry her sweetheart at a drive-in cinema in Dusseldorf, Germany. Relatives and friends watched from their cars as the two were married by the city's mayor. And get this, after this wedding was completed, two more couples tied the knot the same way. We love you! We love you! Hopefully they can make it as long as these two lovebirds in California. More than 100 people brought the party to the porch to celebrate Dorothy and Paul Hatch's 70th wedding anniversary. Even animals are trying new things as we adjust to this new normal. These penguins took a chaperoned hike through the woods while the Oregon Zoo is closed. And caught on camera, sheep took advantage of the coronavirus lockdown in the Turkish city of Samson to stroll and graze through the deserted streets. Laura Podesta, CBS News. Pretty fabulous things that are going on outside of uh, I love COVID. the high school swimmer thing. I know. That was unbelievable.
kids are incredible these days. Can we play uh, the um, chalk thing again that we played yesterday? I just thought that was so great. Like, I could just play that every day. Yeah, no, that was, uh, yeah, not an artist, no professional training, but uh, creating beautiful art in everyone's driveways. That was from uh, the Twin Cities. You know, many people, like, I have a buddy like that that never took an art class, never done anything remotely like that, and he can sit down and it's unbelievable what he puts together and like you're just so jelly you're like dude how do you do that i do have a friend actually uh you should check out my i should have brought a picture but you should check out my instagram uh page my story a friend of mine who was a math teacher aaron uh is actually an artist and she gave me a, a gift where she's now doing you know it's kind of like takes the outside the hardcover off of books and then she stamps oh. them with like inspiring words nice and she wrapped it was just a beautiful piece and she the the top of the book it said small town girl and she said it it just reminded me of you, and so she had to give it to me, and I was like, see, happy, oh, good yeah. things happen every once in a while. <laughs> so when you're lucky enough to have, and get that, a math teacher, so she's smart with, like, numbers, and then also she's creative. And then she's creative. sitting around doing, yeah. No, one person shouldn't get to have it all. <laughs> uh, you know, another story not related to COVID that people are really going crazy over, but it's one of those uh, touchy subjects. Are you a fan of Adele? and her yeah. amazing voice. Well, apparently she is looking a lot different these days. That's wow. Adele. I think she looks fabulous. Yeah. But then you have to say, she also looked fabulous before. You know, so that's the whole debate. She has lost a ton of weight. Who does she look like right there to you? I'm not sure. She doesn't look like... She kind of looks like Kirsten Wig. Remember her from the... Oh, yeah. Uh, from, from Saturday, Saturday Live. Night Live. The Target Lady? Target Lady, or whatever she used to say. Well, apparently her trainers, uh, you know, you know, fighting back for her and people are saying that, you, you know, you can't say that she looks great because that means she didn't look great before. And I don't even know, actually, oh, I didn't read gosh. enough to find out how much weight she lost. But I think she looks amazing. And if she's like me, she's going to wear about eight different sizes throughout Here's the years. The only <laughs> thing that matters is if you walked up to her and said, hey, Adele, are you happy? And she said, yeah, and be like, OK, that, that's all that matters. That is all that matters. <laughs> Looks absolutely awesome. And I just wait, I'm waiting for new music too, and I think she's been teasing that. So oh, she's probably nice. just been working a ton. So be watching for new music from Adele. Her and Bieber do what, maybe? <laughs> Don't tease. That would be awesome. <laughs> uh, we have a great show planned for you on this finally Friday. Stay with us. Coming up next, this is a great topic. One of our favorite guests, she hasn't been here for a while, Mary Bird. She's going to be talking about how she's staying busy and helping others during this pandemic. <laughs>